So I just left the office as you guys saw I was kind of wrapping up the day again It was a nice chill relaxing day today. My medical director actually stopped by uh, Yeah, and she came and got a drip. She's heading on to like a road trip So it was nice to kind of catch up just chit chat with her I'm so grateful to have such a nice medical director. Yeah, that was nice, but I am I actually have to come back to the office really fast um because they're sending a delivery and i want to be here to be sure i can like put it inside of the building so yeah i'll be back i'm heading to ulta right now to do a curbside pickup order and i'll show you guys what i got i kind of just wanted to restock on a couple like fall items i'm gonna head there pick that up then come back to the office i think let me track that because i think i think it should like kind of pretty much be on its way um yeah i'm pretty sure when i pick that up and come back like it should be here but yes friends yeah i hope you guys are doing good so i'm gonna take you guys along the week probably not the whole week like maybe just the start of the week um kind of like a little mix of everything so um spa days um i'm gonna start packing just a little bit for the new york trip so i leave next week next friday oh my gosh you guys let me tell you so let me see yeah next friday yes next friday um it's so crazy because my cousin from miami and my aunt decided to come to greenville to visit um and they're gonna stay for a whole week and it was kind of just like a random trip they're like oh we'll just like pop in like in october and like enjoy fall and stuff so I'm all hype, like, oh my god, my cousin's coming for a week, like, she could stay with me, the whole thing, and come to find out, they come the day that I leave to New York, like, and that was not planned, like, I think that was the only weekend that they could do it, because, you know, they have other things going on, and they didn't know that I was, like, actually heading to New York, Oh, so I'm so sad like I won't basically be able to see them and it's crazy because I go to New York for the weekend right to teach the, the class and then I come back for two days and then head back out to Orlando and they're gonna be here like the whole time so I'm only gonna see my cousin pretty much for two days and then fly back out to Orlando and then I'll be gone that whole weekend for the conference I'm going to a business conference so so disappointing <laughs> so sad but um i will get to see them in december when i go to miami to teach my other class so we still have december to see each other but i thought that was like such a coincidence i'm like really you come the day i leave and i leave very early that morning so but like i was saying i'm gonna pack a little bit yesterday i placed an order on my medical supplier just for like the main stuff for like the iv hands-on portion i'm just gonna start to pack like everything else that i already have at home like things for the goodie bags um the workbooks i'm gonna show you guys the new um workbooks once i get home because i did change the cover i told you guys i was planning on changing the cover and um, yeah, I just want to like get a head start on packing so that way next week like I'm just relaxed and everything is ready Like once Friday gets here, I just need to grab my luggage and head out I don't want to worry about like having to pack stuff next week So I really want to get my packing done this week and then as far as like my clothes and things That's probably gonna be fast because I'm only gonna be in New York for the weekend like it's not that many days um, but yeah, guys, let me head on over to Ulta. I will show you guys what I got once I'm parked and I got my order. Hey, guys. I got my order. I'm going to do a quick little haul. I'm actually parked, like, right in front of Bath & Body Works because it's right by this Ulta. I think I'm going to go inside. I'm not... I don't know. Like, I don't really need anything. I already have, like, fall candles for the season. Um... I don't know, but I'm just going to go in because I do see a sign that says the wallflowers are $3.95 right now. However, I must say, I must say, I'm kind of over the wallflowers. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they don't have that much fragrance. It's like you plug them in and they have fragrance for like a couple days. And then the fragrance, like you just can't smell it anymore. Like, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, okay, so I got a... um 
another Real Techniques sponge. This is what I use to blend out my concealer. I kind of just wanted to get, it says new look, but it looks the same. What's the new look? I don't know, but I got another one just because I feel like you kind of want to change them out every now and then, and I haven't changed mine in a while, so I just restocked on that. I got, make sure they got the right color, yes, I got a mini um, CC cream. This is my go-to foundation. I have it on right now. Um, I usually take the mini one when I go traveling, so I just wanted to restock, and this was actually on sale, you guys, for $10. Oh! Here we go. Yeah, this was on sale for $10. It's usually like $17. So I was like, let me restock. And they actually had my shade in stock. So now I have another one for my travel bag. But yes, you guys, I get so many compliments on my skin, like, and like the makeup and everything both online and in person like when i'm out in person and i have like my makeup like beat like just done people's like what do you have on your face like what kind of powder do you use like people's just like wanting to know what i use so i love this holy grail for sure all right next i got what is this oh i got a lip um lip liner i just wanted to restock so i just got my plain brown lip liner from nyx definitely another holy grail <clears throat> um nyx was also having a sale i think they were buy two get one free wait oh i ended up buying four things from nyx oh no i didn't no this is ulta brand okay so i got the ulta gel eyeliner um you guys know i'm always like trying out new eyeliners i'm kind of running low on my current one which is the sephora brand like the waterproof eyeliner i don't know you guys all eyeliners smudge on me it's always like a mess but this one had really good reviews so i'll give it a try so i just got their plain black eyeliner so we'll see how that goes and then my other two nyx items so i got their clear lip gloss um, the butter gloss if you guys remember in my I think it was the last vlog I had on the Fenty clear gloss and I was telling you guys that I don't like it it's like super sticky so it reminded me I needed to get like I don't know my face is itchy hold on <clears throat> yeah it reminded me that I had to get a clear gloss for my collection and I saw that this um, formula they had it in clear so we will see how this works i love a clear gloss like just to wear with like no makeup like you know you just have like no makeup and a shiny lip um kind of use this as lip balm honestly um so we'll see but i usually like the nyx butter gloss formulas like i have so many of their shades so i think i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love that then i got one lip color so th again this is a nyx brand not me with the hand in the back <laughs> real life beauty blogger okay <laughs> nah but you guys can't see if i don't put my hand there but um yeah this is the nyx suede matte lipstick let me look at the shade oh yes 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 this is exactly what i was going for and i ordered it online i was hoping it was going to be a nice shade and it is i wanted like a plummy with like brown undertones it is perfect this is the shade vintage um, I'm actually wearing one of these NYX suede. I think the, the shade I'm wearing today is called Dainty Days, something like that. But it's just like a nude. Um, and I put Fenty Diamond Milk on top. But I love this formula, you guys. Like, it's a matte lipstick, but it, it's suede. Like, it's very smooth. Like, I don't like the dried out. I really don't like liquid lipsticks anymore. Like, I definitely like an actual lipstick. Um, but I still like a matte shade, so yeah and then last but not least i got the CeraVe healing ointment i'm excited for this let me check it out can i does it have a seal does it have a seal but i saw this no it doesn't have a seal but i always love a nice like ointment type cream to just have in your collection the one that i usually was using was eucerin i think either eucerin or aquaphor or maybe even both but you guys know i love CeraVe i'm like a diehard fan with all of their skin stuff so i wanted to have one just at home like you can use this on your lips on your feet like whenever your hands are really really dry like right here i always like to do more of an ointment rather than a lotion so and it says it's like a non-greasy feel i mean most ointments like they're gonna leave you a little sticky it's not like a cream 
Um, but yeah, guys, that was it for my little fall shopping that I did. Um, yeah, I didn't want to, I have enough makeup already. Like, I always pick up the same things, so I kind of wanted to restock on things. Um, I almost went inside Ulta because I'm like, you know what, I have a little extra time, but I don't really think I want anything else. Like, I already have enough concealers, I have blushes, like, I really don't need to go in there. However, we are going to go in Bath & Body Works and just see what they have going on for fall. Like I said, I have enough. Do they take Apple Pay? I always forget, like, which places take Apple Pay. Like, I hate carrying my wallet around. Y'all got to get with the program, get with the Apple Pay. Um, all right, let me just... Put it in here because I don't remember what else do they have on sale. Let's just go in there. All right, guys, I will see you when I get back. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. I got a few things. So I ended up getting freaking wallflowers. Like, I don't know. I just love that they have a lot of different scents, but please let me know if there's like a trick or something or if you guys feel the same way, like the fragrance, you can't really smell it after a few days. I mean, I don't know if it's me, like maybe I just get accustomed to the scent. Now I have found like some of their scents do last, um, hold on, there's somebody at my front door, this is probably a package. But yeah, I have found that like some of the fragrances do last a little bit longer yeah that was the mail i wonder what came in i have oh my gosh she came in with two big boxes i have like three boxes right now in my front door <laughs> anyway some of the scents do last a little longer like right now i have the limoncello scent which is like the lemon scent and i do feel like every time i walk by the hallway i smell it but in the bathroom i have the i think it's called rosewater ivy something like that and i love that scent it's such a soft like i just love it for the bathroom but i feel like i can't smell it I don't know but anyways i got a few like i said they were on sale for 3.95 so the first one that i got was mahogany teak wood this is definitely like a manly kind of scent i got a few for like my men's bathroom at the spa so this is one of them and then i got the little thing to go in here so i just got a black one for the men's bathroom and then i got a gray one for the women's bathroom but yeah, I do plan on putting like some fragrance there. I was looking, I'm like, maybe the Glade plugins or like the Airwick. I don't know, but I just love like the different scents in these. That's why I keep going back. <sighs> All right, then I got Bright Christmas Morning. I already have like, I think I have three wallflowers already from last year that I never even got to open. So I have enough like Christmas scents, but you know, they came out with some new ones. I think this is new and I got another one that kind of smelled new christmas cider so i just grabbed two more um i mean i can either use it like in the spa or at the house so yeah mahogany teak wood and then i got caramel pumpkin swirl so i only got one fall scent because you guys know like fall just comes and goes so fast so this is definitely going into my house as soon as that limoncello is done or i can probably just take the limoncello off or maybe put it in the kitchen and then put this like in my entry foyer area and then I got cinnamon stick. Oh, yeah, this is another fall scent. So I pretty much got, like, two fall scents. Cinnamon, I love, like, cinnamon scent. Um, I love walking into a house and you smell the cinnamon. I don't know. It's just something about that scent. Like, it just gives clean. Like, I love it. So, yeah, that's all I got, you guys. Just a couple. Oh, yeah, and I also got um, the, the moisturizing hand sanitizer. I've never used these. Like, the one that I have is... The classic one like just their antibacterial hand sanitizer with the little beads but this is like so heavily fragrance like as you guys can see like it's all the way down here but what I do is like I mix this with like a regular um, Purell like I just put it in there and kind of mix it because this is like it's just too fragranced um, so yeah, I don't know why I bought this. I'm probably going to feel the same. Like, oh, this is annoying me, <laughs> the smell. But I got Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. But this is a new formula. So this is their moisturizing hand sanitizer. And I tried it in the store and I really like it. It feels like a lotion. So I'm always trying to get moisturizing things. Like my hands get so dry. Um, again, I don't know if their soaps are drying out my hands. Because usually at my house, like I have all Bath & Body Works soaps. Like in all of my bathrooms, in the kitchen sink. Like... And I don't know if it's their soap that's drying on my hand. I use, I do use their foaming hand soap, so we'll see. But this scent didn't seem too, like, overpowering when I smelled it in there. No, it's kind of like a sweet scent, so 
I don't know, just something different for when I want a little bit of fragrance. And like I said, I got the little plugins for the spa bathrooms. How much did I even spend? Where's the receipt? Let me see what the total was. $33. So that's not bad though for um that many wallflowers. That was a good little sale. Okay, so the package has not yet delivered, but I think I think I'm just gonna head back to the office. I really want a snack. Oh, you know what? I have those granola bars at the spa. I'm not really big into um granola bars but i kind of want to eat a little something while i wait i mean all i have to do is just bring that package and it's just going to be like five minutes um and then i'm heading you guys so i just made it back in the office the ups literally just left i'm just going to take some of this stuff out of here i guess i'm going to keep the hand sanitizer in my office um or when i get the coffee station set up oh man Please tell me I can open this thing. I was thinking about putting it like near the coffee. Oh man, I might have to take this home and let my boyfriend do this part. Please open. Hold on, it's coming. Ah, it came, okay. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep it in here for now. But yeah, when I get the coffee, I wanna have like a little sanitizer in there. And then I'm gonna open this thing. All right, so we're gonna open this. Get the scents going in the bathroom. Oh, I need to get a little waste basket for my office. What time is it? Okay. okay, so what should I pick for the girls' bathroom? Wait, I didn't get one for the girls' bathroom. I didn't get like a regular scent. I only got fall scent, so I guess I can put one of these. Ones, but I want those for my house. I think I'm just gonna bring one from home because I have other scents at home. And I kind of want like a fresh, you know, like a bathroom, bathroom scent. But we'll do mahogany teak wood for the men's. Mmm. It's literally like a man's cologne. <laughs> Alright. Men's bathroom and then girls' bathroom. I'll just have to bring some. Alright, so all of that is going home with me. Take the trash. Sweet home. First thing I do is change my shoes. Ruby's gonna go crazy when she sees me. Snacks, that's fragrance for the house. Hi, sweet baby. <laughs> of course, she was not watching the cartoons. What is that? Oh, <laughs> did you like the cartoons? You watching TV the whole day? I love you. I love you. Let me see if she ate her food. Yeah, I figured she didn't. She usually doesn't eat, like, she won't eat until I'm home. You're gonna eat your food. Turn the air purifier on. Hold on, sweetie. I'm gonna take you outside. Hold on. Let me put my things down. But I'm gonna start to take... Yeah, let me take the chicken out. I'm gonna make pasta today. I am in such a pasta mood because... Is this the one? Yeah, I'm in a pasta mood because it's fall time, you know? And it's like a little bit chilly at night. So usually what I do at night is like I'll open up the... um you know the screen door right there and it feels so good but i'm gonna make pasta i need to see i mean not the sauce but the whipping cream to actually make the sauce because i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do a simple sauce like probably just garlic um yeah i do have the whipping cream of course yeah i have everything but i like to make my sauces from scratch now it's like super easy to make pasta sauces like i didn't know it was that easy i used to always just like buy them in the thing but they never taste the same, especially Alfredo, like homemade Alfredo from scratch is like delish. Um, all right, let me take Ruby outside, change, you know, get comfortable. <laughs>
Guys, it is so windy outside and it feels amazing. Now that I took my jacket off, I'm like, oh, it's actually nice and breezy. Look at my hair. It just feels so good. I'm so happy, you guys. I love this weather. Um, next week is going to be even cooler. So excited. I need to go fall shopping, actually, now that I think of it. Think about it. I have to get some new fall pieces. Um, here's Ruby. She's enjoying her little bone outside. Um, <clears throat> feels so nice so nice i should probably sit outside for a little while get some sun i'm excited for dinner today i need to wash those dishes actually i'm trying to think if i should put it in a dishwasher it's not enough but because i'm gonna cook and usually when it's a pasta meal i try to put it in the dishwasher because it gets very oily like with the butter and stuff yeah i'm probably gonna do a dishwasher load tonight take my bag in my room i took it out because i was gonna take some stuff to the spa with me but i ended up not needing it I'll just sit it right there because either way i have to pack it pretty soon for new york um but yeah well, I'm but yeah since i'm already talking about new york let me show you guys the updated workbooks walking to my office wait where are they <laughs> they are not in my office where did i put oh you know what they're in the other room because i was gonna pack them in the luggage wait let me take these packages inside because there's like three big boxes oh yeah the workbooks <laughs> so what just came in the mail is the coffee creamers and then the coffee cups for the spa so that's just gonna stay in the box until the actual coffee table gets set up but all right so that's not gonna work i don't know i'll just hold it up let me just flip you guys around so this is what the new workbooks look like really like it much better i did like i said i wanted to add some type of water design because you know it's iv hydration like i didn't want it to be so plain and honestly i i initially didn't even want it to be the color of my logo like i was I wanted it to be some type of blue shade so yeah really like it much better so i already got all 25 books printed um <clears throat> won't be showing you guys the goodie bags or nothing like that obviously because it's a surprise for the attendees but I have most of everything. I did order some new things from Amazon. Some new stuff that I do want to add in the goodie bags. And the main thing. So these are like fluid bags. So yeah, this is like most of the things that I kind of have to. Because in here, I think there's like what, 50? Yeah, there's 50 catheters. I, I think I'm actually am going to take like both boxes of just the full 50. Because... I am teaching the IV insertion refresher class the next day. So we're still going to be using catheters and stuff. So I might as well just have extras. So like the main thing, I actually have to call my medical supplier like today, right now. Once I get my little snack and kind of clean up a little bit, I'm going to go sit in the office and make that call because they, so they have to verify like, because I moved, you know, I have a new address, a new shipping address. So they pretty much had to verify, like I had to have my medical director just say like, hey, I'm the medical director here, like sign it, that's it, very simple. But I emailed it to them, I want to say it was Friday? Um, I don't know, but I'm just going to call them because I've had, I have two orders that are like pending to be shipped and I need them like ASAP. Like at this point I need fluids for the spot and for New York. Um, so I'm just going to call them and be like, hey, I sent that letter, like what's the update on that? Because I don't want that to get delayed and yeah i just want to have like i don't know i just want to have like my main things already ordered and shipped and everything because i don't want to stress out about 
late, um, I mean, last minute orders. But, but yeah, what else was I gonna do? I mean, there's really not much to clean up or pick up, actually, now that I'm looking around the house. <laughs> That's always like the first thing I do. I like to just kind of pick up. Um, I'll probably vacuum later tonight because we're still gonna be like in and out of the backyard. Room is pretty much set. It's kind of warm in here. Um, it is kind of warm in here. I'm going to start to just close these windows just a little bit because the sun hits like this side of the house around this time. Like, this is the scent I was talking about. I have like that rose water scent in here and I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if it's my nose, but I can barely smell that one. Because I was telling you guys my hands are like always dry, I just switched and made, and just got like a Dove hand soap for my actual bathroom, which is kind of where I use soap the most. But, yeah, it has that moisturizing cream. I actually need to wash my hands. To be honest. Ruby, oh my god. <laughs> I literally can't. She's looking like, what the heck? But then I open the door and she doesn't come inside, though. That's the problem. Are you coming inside? Hmm? You're gonna bring bugs inside. Okay, see you later. Literally can't. And she's be looking up like, did you really just close the door? Her little hair moving in the wind. <laughs> Come, Ruby. Come inside. Or are you gonna hang out outside? Hang out outside, you need some sun. I'm very excited to use this lip gloss. I think I'm gonna use it tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a no makeup day. Well, black boy, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow might be a no makeup day. I think I'm excited to use this lip gloss, girl. I may, I might as well. Honestly, I might as well just throw this fancy gloss away. Like I do not like it. It's like literally full. I never use it. I'm so excited. This is called Sugar Glass. I'm going to leave it up here so that I remember to put it on tomorrow. Well, I'll probably put it on after I take a shower just as a lip balm. Oh, girl, while I'm here, let me tell you. I've been loving this moisturizer. This is from La Roche-Posay. Is that how you say it? La Roche-Posay. Um, this is the Lipicar. I think that's how you say it. Lipicar Lotion. Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion. And this is for body and face. Love this. I've been using it on my face. Like This is pretty much like the CeraVe cream, but lighter, which I like. Cause phone call. Shut up. I try to bring Ruby back inside. Like She's always looking at me like she wants to come in. Ruby, I'm not going to be in this back and forth. I'm in the room doing stuff. Are you coming or no? Come inside. Come. Freaking fly just came in. Ugh. See, this is what I hate. Yo, I hate flies. Where's my freaking raid? Oh my God. It's just, it's like literally, I knew that was gonna happen with the door wide open. I hate flies. I have to close my bedroom. Ugh. Girl. Oh my gosh, okay. Back to the lotion. So moisturizing cream, but this is like pretty heavy. Like I only take a little bit of this, but this is like, oh, it's just so good. And I love that it's for like the body and the face because like sometimes I just use it like on my hands and it's really fragrance free, like all the way. Sometimes like when you get fragrance free things, like they have somewhat of like a little plastic scent like this one absolutely no scent it says that it's dermatologist tested for babies children and adults like it's just a very gentle cream so this is it if you want to try it out lipicar lotion it's pretty big so this is definitely going to last a while if you like mainly use it for your face but guys i will talk to you guys later i'm not sure if i'll pick maybe i'll pick the camera back up like when i'm cooking and stuff i always say that but i always get so caught up like while i'm cooking and then i'll have like gloves on and you know <laughs> the whole thing so i usually forget but um yeah let me just kind of wind down a little bit take my makeup off maybe shower yeah i definitely do want to shower before i start cooking and then just relax a little bit because 
Let me turn my fans on. Like for some reason it's just a tad bit warm in the house. day as you guys can see i just got home i've been out shopping and getting my nails done this is the new color that i did it's camera but it's kind of like a brownish it just has like little specks of glitter but not too much because i don't like to do like all glitter nails but hang on about the nails so if you guys remember in the last vlog i was saying that i was gonna go to a new nail tech well i made an appointment with her she was already like pretty much fully booked for october so i wasn't able to get in with her before my new york trip so i'm getting my nails done with her the week that i get back from new york pretty much right before um right before my orlando trip so probably when i go to hers when i i'll get like my actual october design nails so i kind of just wanted to do something plain because i had some stones with the pink polish that i had before and like one of them fell off so i was like and then i also cracked a nail so i'm like let me just do a plain polish change just to get me through these next like what two two to three weeks and then i'll get my actual um design nails with the new girl today has just been a pretty productive day but it was like a long shopping day so i went downtown had lunch downtown um i had to put some stuff in the spot but the shopping was productive you guys the store at home which i had been wanting to go um and i it was successful like i saw a lot more things than i usually see like at home goods i had went to home goods last week and i literally left with nothing like nothing for the spa absolutely nothing decor wise um i ended up with like I want to say I got three pieces of wall art for the spa, which is very productive because you guys know like wall, for, like pictures and things like that is like what really fills up your walls. And that's also one of like the hardest things I feel like to shop for just because you have like so many different walls. Like even in my house, like I still have probably like four plain walls that I'm still trying to fill with like some good art that I actually want. But at home had the pieces when it came to like the spa decor. They had a lot of pieces with like blue and grays and just like all my colors. So I think I ended up with three pieces. I got a really large one that you guys will just see later. But I'm I'm excited for the um, art that I got. I also got some other like wall decor. Like you know just to not only do art. But I like some of the abstract pieces to go on the wall also. Um, I didn't get anything for like my second service room, which I'll probably end up furnishing um, probably closer to like next month. But I already have an idea of the artwork and the things that I want there. And I may end up designing like some of my own wall pieces because sometimes when I can't find stuff like I end up designing it myself. Like you guys asked me a lot of questions about this one right there. And I actually made that myself. So I designed it. I put some of my favorite affirmations on there. Got it printed on a canvas and got the colors that I wanted. Like there was just nothing out there that I actually wanted. 
so for that other service room i already kind of know like the quotes um just like the stuff that i want on the walls but i got that what else did i end up getting <clears throat> I got like small little furniture pieces to kind of fill the corners and you guys will see later once I actually put it up I'll show you guys the things that I got but I think I got quite a bit I spent about $300 which wasn't bad honestly for the amount of stuff that I got especially it being like wall um artwork and stuff because that stuff can definitely get pricey so I feel like I got some good deals some good pieces for $300. Um, it's so hard when I'm shopping for the spa because I always want to end up buying things for my house and then it's like I end up spending like double the amount but I think I controlled myself this time I'm like you know what let me just focus on the spa like I don't want to mix and match I get things for the house and right now I really don't want to get that much like home decor because we're heading into like the holidays so I know I'm going to be spending on holiday decor so probably like once next year rolls around then I'll start to look at more of the plain everyday home decor but yeah that's what today went like i'm so tired i'm about to take a shower um i still have to make dinner and everything um, but i already know what i'm gonna make so i'm just gonna get ready to season that but i do want to shower first because you guys know how it is when you've been out all day like you just want to shower and today is definitely my hair washing day i'm probably just gonna re straighten my hair because i'm really liking like the straight look um that's usually what i like for fall and winter because your hair just stays like laid the whole time so say so yeah, i'm gonna shower wash my hair dry my hair do my hair later tonight such a process and then tomorrow i actually have a full day at the spa so i don't know if i'm actually gonna end this vlog today i might not because i want to say i may get my artwork and stuff installed probably not tomorrow because like i said i have a full day at the spa unless maybe tomorrow if not later on this week so i'll just see how the week kind of goes and then i'll decide like when i actually want to close out the vlog um but yeah i probably won't vlog tomorrow because it's just work like it's all drips and shots and the usual um i don't even think i have a lunch break scheduled in tomorrow so i have to eat breakfast tomorrow and i need to see what i can take for lunch that i can eat like in between clients because the whole day you guys so it's the next day i decided to bring my camera along because i have a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys like i brought quite some things with me from the house because i got some packages in like things from the spa and my boyfriend's coming later he's actually gonna put up all the wall art that i talked about yesterday so you guys will get to see it in this vlog i'm excited um if i'm talking low i'm sorry i have a client in here i have the door closed but i don't know sometimes i talk a little loud when i'm on camera i'm eating this little nutra what is this nutra grain um soft baked breakfast bar this is like an apple cinnamon taste but it's actually not bad like definitely giving fall with the cinnamon um let me see I'm trying to read like what's the stuff in here. I just like digged into my little snack box. Um, I think I had already showed you guys, but this is what I got to put like in the front. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the stuff on the walls. I'm already envisioning like some type of frame here for the office, but I'm not gonna focus too much on the office right now. Like I really just wanna get like my waiting room, my hallway, my IV room, my other service room, like that kind of stuff furnished. But let me just show you guys some new stuff. okay my desk is a mess right now but i got this yesterday from at home this is perfect so what i plan on using this for is putting like forms here when i'm getting ready to like have a new client and i could just grab the forms rather than having to dig into that little folder so this one has two spots this is going to be my iv intake form and my iv consent form because that's like what's mainly used um and then over here is another one um so yeah this one is a little bit smaller like i kind of figured out how to use it because at first i'm like does it go this way but if you put papers in there like it's just too short like the papers are hanging out so then i'm like do i stand it up this way like okay wait i lost how i had it i think it was like this yeah so if i put it this way then i can just slide the papers right in there so in here i'm just gonna do just like all my other consents so like b12 fat burner vitamin d um muscular intake form whatever <clears throat> just the other things but like i said 
over here is my main stuff so yeah those are new wait was it this way i keep forgetting no hold on is this one this way yeah okay there we go <laughs> then i ordered some new clipboards just so that they're all matching so i just got the clear acrylic ones because i think i had just like the wooden ones just wanted to like throw those away and just get all new fresh clipboards and then i put my little logo sticker in the back i've only done three so far i think this was a six pack but for now i'm just gonna take three out of there oh yeah i bought this for in here this is a phone stand this is like so vital i have another one that's in the actual iv room but that's where i keep the ipad so i just needed one for the office because i just love these things like you always need one um especially if i'm working like on my other ipad and stuff like you just kind of want something to hold on to oh yeah i already put the scent in the girls bathroom and i ended up doing like a which one did i pick the sweet cinnamon pumpkin because i'm like it's fall might as well just use it here um but yeah but yeah that's it as far as like little knickknacks and things for my desk that came in the mail um later on i'm gonna show you guys all the rest of the new stuff i did buy like a little corner table it's like a plant stand but i'm gonna sit my plant that i have in there i just want to see how it looks because it'll give it like so much height and i think it's gonna look so good um and then yeah i'll show you guys the frames and everything but i'm so excited my boyfriend came through to save the day he's also bringing lunch to me because like i told you guys today i'm like fully booked um i don't even have what did i just step on um yeah like i don't have time to like leave and and go get food and stuff so he's gonna come through bring me lunch put all the stuff up it's giving king vibes king vibes but yeah i will chat with you guys later i'm gonna go check on my clients and i'll just pop in throughout the day Ooh, you guys i am so annoyed right now let me go on this little rant with you guys about ups and the struggle with all my packages so so I don't I think I told you guys before like in the last vlog um about the Wi-Fi equipment being in transit and then the company that I ordered it from they didn't put the suite number in the address because over here it's like you know it's like the the number of like the whole plaza and then every building has like its own suite number so that's kind of how it works like the whole shopping center is like the one number and then um Hold on, I think. Hey guys, I had a client walk in, but, um. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, so the Wi-Fi, so, so the suite number was missing. Basically, I had to call them, and now I have to go pick up the Wi-Fi stuff from the UPS center. And then, there's been another issue with, like, my vitamins. Like, now they're just floating around, like i'm so stressed so tomorrow i have to go to another ups to pick up the vitamins i think she said the wi-fi when did she say i could pick it up see i don't even know i'm getting confused like i have so many packages on the way and then friday i have things for my medical supplier coming like well, it's just such a struggle right now with like ups and um yeah just being sure that they're actually leaving it and like the whole wi-fi situation like that was the company like they pretty much just did not put the suite number and good thing i actually looked today i'm like where's this package because it said it was supposed to come like earlier in the week <sighs> so yeah but i need my wi-fi like asap i have a whole bunch of stuff that i haven't been able to set up because i need wi-fi like <laughs> I have my doorbell camera that I need to set up and this will be perfect because when I see like packages coming in if I'm like over there you know or wherever or at home like you know because today like I said UPS came super early like I was here at 10 so they had to have been here before like 9 ish or 8 and that's like outside of my business hours so yeah I need to set this up and then I forgot to show you guys but I also got another um alexa like e is this the eco show yeah the eco show thing so this is gonna go in my waiting room just so i can have like music playing and things like that so this has to be set up um my cameras need to be set up and that needs wi-fi the only thing i have set up is like my little front desk camera but i still need to set up like all the other ones 
Um, so yeah, it's been important. And then like the iPad. Oh yeah, I haven't been able to like turn the TV on and play music or have people like watch movies and stuff because no Wi-Fi. And then having to like hook up my hotspot every single time so that iPad is like annoying. But yeah, the day is moving right along. My boyfriend's on his way with my lunch and to set the stuff up. I can't wait. I feel like it's just gonna bring the place to life. Like we need some color. We need some stuff on the walls. So I'll be back once I eat. Oh, let me just show you guys how perfect this came out. So like I said, intake consent. Um, this one I actually don't really like. Like I didn't even realize that it goes up like this. So these are like higher up. Um, and again, it's kind of short. So like the papers are just hanging out. I don't know. I'm going to see how much it costs and see if it's like worth it to return it. Um, cause it is cute. Like, you know, it's a cute piece, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I was looking at the tag and it actually says it's like a letter, letter sorter. And I'm like, I'm not going to be putting letters and stuff. So I don't know yet if I'm going to keep it or not. So I just got this package in the mail and it was a gift from my friend Christina from one boss babe to another. Thank you, girl. She got me this mug right here. So cute. And look how cute this is. It's like one of these little acrylic things. So cute for office decor. I could even use this as like, oh my gosh, so cute. But yes, thank you, girl. I have about, let me see, two, 10 minutes before the next one. So I'm just gonna show you guys around. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover, um, not a voiceover, like a little music over um, some of the new wall pieces that are up, so enjoy. Okay guys, so it's a little later in the day. I'm almost done, but um, yeah, so that was a few of the pieces. I think I showed you guys what, like one, two, three, four of the frames that I bought. I'm, I'm kind of glad they're up on the wall because that way I can see like which walls need frames. Definitely st still a lot of walls, but um, but I did have my eye on a few pieces um, at the same place where I went yesterday. So I may go back. I love how that big one came out like in the hall. I think I want to get another of that like really big one and put it maybe in the waiting room. I'm not sure, but I really like that design. And there was like three that I, I was kind of going back and forth with. So I may go back and grab the other one. Um, but yeah, I am finishing up the day. I just have one more and they are just shots. Um, this is one of my regulars. And yeah, after that, I'm going to go to UPS and pick up my package, one of my packages. So I have to drive. I just put it in the map. So it's like 11 minutes from here. And then from there, I'm going home, um, get started on dinner and stuff. And then I do plan on editing tonight. We do kind of have somewhat of like stormy weather coming like this weekend so we're just gonna see how it's gonna go um as far as like needing to reschedule clients and stuff which i don't think we're gonna be hit that hard but if you're in florida please stay safe hey guys i had to stop because i had my other client come in i don't even know what i was talking about to be honest i'm like i'm literally trying to talk to you guys like in between but today has been busy i'm pretty much done for the day i'm just waiting for my last one to finish her drip because she got um yeah she got like a full um double bag so i think i was telling you guys that i was gonna go pick up the package from ups and then oh yeah get ready for dinner and then i do want to edit tonight so it might be like kind of a late night so yeah i think this video has been long enough i didn't get to show you guys like the bathroom 
um, frames that I put up there, but I think you guys saw like most of the big stuff that I bought. Um, but yeah, but yeah, little by little, it just gave it such a touch though, like literally, um, just to like fill the walls. And that little plant stand that you guys saw, girl, it elevated the plants to a whole new level. I almost returned it because that little thing was $50, and I'm like, I don't know if it's worth $50 to just sit a plant up there, but it's staying like it just goes so perfect with like the gold base and believe it or not like it wasn't my intention to do a lot of gold accents here like for some reason a lot of the stuff that i was finding just so happened to have the gold like i don't know i think that may be in style right now because it's been hard to find like the actual just silver or chrome that i'm kind of used to but it's okay like i'm not mad at it because at my house i have a lot of like silver chrome not silver but i think it's more of that brush nickel like that kind of grayish finish so it's kind of nice to have like just something different i guess for the office but yeah it's like literally not on purpose but like a lot of the stuff is turning out to have like gold accents but it looks really good with like the gray um but yeah guys this vlog has been very long i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week um i think i will be vlogging next week as i get ready for new york and the rest of my um and then my orlando trip so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.